Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. And today we are taking a look at a pretty uh, unique weapon. This okay. is uh, unique because it is a prototype. Never entered service. But it is a Kalashnikov. This is the AK-12 prototype. And other than the classic stock or the classic wood AK, this has to be my favorite AK so far. So, uh, the Russians didn't adopt this one, it was too different, I believe was one of the reasoning. And too expensive as well to adopt. But, Ishmash, later, uh, or under Kalashnikov, Ishmash, the Ishmash Arsenal got uh, bought out by uh, Kalashnikov and they developed this lovely little machine. Got full Picatinny rails on the top, some on the bottom, and it has some really nice features. It's uh, chambered in 545 by 39, which is of course what uh, the Russian army uses these days in the AK-74 and of course the actual release AK-12. This is the AK-12 prototype. There are some differences, and I'll get to that actually when I cover the regular AK-12. So uh, what does the AK-12 prototype bring to the table? Well, first off, a collapsing stock. Always useful. I mean, can't complain about that. Get uh, the exact stock length that you prefer. Still doesn't really have... Ah, uh, uh, does it? It does look like the stock is in line, which is... In line to the barrel, at least. Which, of course, uh, the other Kalashnikovs don't, including the AK-12, I believe, doesn't have inline, bar uh, inline stock, but it does look... I might be wrong, though, I'm not a fire expert. Like, it does have it here. Russians, of course, also famous for uh, their U-notch sights. Well, look at what we got here. We finally got a people sight. Other than that, it's the same style, adjust... It has uh, the front post exactly the same, but now you have a peep hole sight. And instead of the sight being placed here, it's actually placed back here, increasing the sight radius by quite a bit. Of course, Picatinny rail. You would be madman if you didn't, like, get yourself a nice red dot. A nice red dot. Pop, Pop that on. Way better. And I mean, you have the uh, Picatinny rail for it. I believe this one doesn't have the AK style mounting. So that's of course a downside for the Russians, which have a lot of AK mounted stuff. But Picatinny is superior, if you ask me, just based on compatibility. Speaking of, looks like there's a small section of Picatinny there. Which we can confirm. Nope, not there. Yep. It is, in fact, so you got, even on your gas block, a bit of Picatinny. I don't know what you would put there, but you have the option for it. And, of course, under your foregrip for your vertical or angled foregrip. But we're going for the classic AK look here. Well, I say classic. As close to classic as this thing gets, it's not that classic. What else changes? Well, first of all, dust covered safety? Nope, no more. Instead, you have uh, more AR style, just right next to your thumb, safe, semi, free round burst, and full auto. And you have your challenging handle, moved a bit forward, and as you see, no dust cover. Which, uh, no dust cover at all is not ideal, but... Sure beats that dust cover, uh, charge, uh, dust cover safety selector, which I was not a fan of. Now that we've basically covered this gun. Oh, and it has some Picatinny here on the side. I actually missed that. It's a very small section, but it's there. If you were to want to use it. So, without further ado, let's shoot it. People's side, of course, much nicer. Helps if you put it on semi. Shooting a bit low. Let's do three round burst. I believe it's three round burst at least. 
and look, listen to that fire rate with free run burst. Just amazingly quick. Can you do this? Sadly, you cannot do a tactical reload with the AK-12. And it uses standard AK-74 mags. So, uh... That's at least one nice advantage for Russia. Of course, why would you replace it? It's fully functional. Now let's head over to full auto, shall we? Uh, let's do a... Reset? That's the button. And let's dump this mag. Wonderful. I really like this weapon. As far as AKs go, this is actually pretty non-standard. I mean, if we take a look at its predecessor while we're here. The AK, not AKM. AK-74. Like, you clearly see the similarities. Especially if we uh, pop a mag in it. Like, you see it's an AK. But it's different. And it has some improvements, which are lovely. Especially this terrible U notch sight. No, be gone. AK 12, you're my new favorite AK. Okay, I do still like that one. I, I just love I just love wood furnishings on guns. Understand why this one doesn't have it. So this is one of my favorite AKs, for sure. Way better than like the AK 101, AK the release AK 12 or the other AKs. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video on the AK-12 prototype. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.